give a shout out to a company. This video is sponsored by this company. And this company is called Engraved Expressions. They do different printing services for, they do different printing services for t-shirts, sweatpants, different apparel, hoodies. And I'm gonna show a couple of their t-shirts and I will leave their info in the box below. Um, this shirt right here, I think is so cute. This says unapologetically black and you know, we all about the black power around here. Around these parts, black power. This shirt, embrace your imperfections, which is so important to me because I always make it, I always make it a point to let people know that <laughs> nobody's perfect and we all have imperfections that we dealing with. And then this t-shirt, is a discipline over indulgence tea. You love that too, because especially, listen, when no sweets is calling your name, you gotta choose discipline over indulgence. So yeah, that's just a couple teas. I wanna thank Engraved Expressions for these. I love them, I love them. And like I said, you can get, um, the info is below, in the box below. Or you can get these teas at engravedexpression.com. And like I said, I'll leave the info in the box below. And let's get started with the video. Hey YouTube, I am back with another video. I know it's been a minute. I always say this every time I make a new video. Uh, I'll be slacking. I really do be trying. Not really trying, but... uh. Anyway, I'm here, see, here giving you a little shoulder action. What's good? Um, so this video is going to be probably my second, no, my first most requested video. This is, this video is my first most requested video. Second after this video is questions about skin and why my skin isn't saggy. But I'll save that video for another time. But this video is my before and after video. I'm gonna give a little background information about me and basically tell like how I led up to having surgery. So I'm gonna basically draw the whole timeline of my life and kind of what led me to where I am right now, okay? So, first of all, I'm 27. I will be 28 on April 26th. Happy birthday to me. Um, and so, I started off very skinny, very in shape, you know, back in the 90s, we weren't sitting, we had games, but the primar primarily we played outside. So we was running, jumping, playing games, that's just what we did, climbing trees, all that. I was a tomboy, I didn't like wearing dresses, none of that, and I used to run. I used to be a runner, and I just, that's just what I did. And that was up until I was about like eight or nine, maybe 10, like nine, 10, was when I really started going from, like, cause I was always book smart, but I was more concerned with playing outside with the guys and all my cousins and stuff. Um, and around nine, 10 was really when the change happened. So I went from not really wanting to be outside anymore to really wanting to more so be in the books and more so be on the computer and things like that like the technology age started kicking in and i just i started so at the time my mom used to watch my cousins while my aunt worked and they always ate a lot more than me like they just that was just how it was and I can remember that, like, it's not like really used to pick on me, but like, you know, they used to make fun of me because I used to really not eat a lot. 
And so I used to, my dad will tell the story a trillion times. I used to try, I used to try and like keep up with them. So I would be like stuffing myself past what I was, what I could really eat until my stomach started to stretch and I started to be cool with eating more. And so that's when I really started gaining weight. I wasn't as active and at that point, and I'm gonna do on here so that you guys can see like the progression. So I started gaining weight. I went from tiny to starting to get thick and this is like, 10 is when it started, 9, 10, going into my adult life. So fast forward, high school, like like I said, I progressively kept getting bigger, kept getting bigger. I remember being like in the half sizes and then by the time I got to, by the time I got to high school, like I was like, in ninth grade I was like a, a women's 14. And then progressively, I just kept getting, I just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger until by my junior year, I was probably like a solid 270. And you know, the thing about it was, like I said, I was always like really into like school and books and stuff. So I wasn't really like thinking about boys and I was always around my family, so boys was probably the least the least of my worries i was working full time from the time i was 16 until i graduated college working and going to school full time to help my mom so i was not thinking about boys i was really thinking about work school and i i mean i just gained weight that's just how it was i just kept gaining weight and you know i had made attempts to lose weight my junior year of high school was the first time that I went on Weight Watchers. And the first time I went on Weight Watchers, I lost like 16 pounds, then I gained it back. Then my senior year of high school, I went back on Weight Watchers and I lost like 23 pounds, then I gained it back. And so it was like a back and forth, back and forth. And then the pivotal moment in my life was I just I kept gaining weight I got a new job at 18 I started working at the hospital I was working nights and so I was eating I was staying up till all crazy hours in the morning seven in the morning eight in the morning but I was eating late so like I would get off of work at 2 30 in the morning go to McDonald's get myself something to eat like it was so bad to the point that the person at the McDonald's knew who I was. Like when I when I started losing weight and I wasn't going there no more, like the next time I ran into him, he was like, hey, I haven't seen you anymore. That's how bad it was. Like I would stop at McDonald's on my way home, get a 200, a 2000 calorie meal, and then go home and sit up, eat that, and then go to sleep with all of that food. And I gained so much weight that by the time I was 20, I went um, on a routine visit to my OBGYN because this is, this is another TMI moment because my period was out of control. When I say like, at the time, I would bleed for two, three months straight and then not get a period for three, four, or five months. And so I thought that there was something wrong with me because I'm like, okay, what could it possibly be that's making my period all out of control like this? And so they did a bunch of tests, they did a bunch of blood work, and then when they called me with the results of my blood work, she asked me, she was like, um, are you diabetic? Mind you, I was 20 at the time. And I was like, no. And she was like, okay, well you need to go see your family doctor because your blood sugar is 370 and it shouldn't be that way if you were fasting and you didn't eat anything. So at this point you're borderline diabetic so you need to go see your doctor. And that was like the light bulb moment. Well, That was my most successful journey into weight loss. And I think that that's when my insecurities kicked in the most because like then I started, I. 
I had moved to Atlanta at that at that point and I started like doing my makeup and wearing weave and this and that and then like guys were really paying me attention for the first time in life. And so it made me so self-conscious about how much further I had to go. But I got down to like 250, 247. And I, I just chilled out there for a minute. To the, fast forward to 2012, I was living in Atlanta and you know it's very superficial down there so a lot of my concern was being small my friends were small and so i went on i watched this documentary called fat sick and nearly dead like i said losing weight i was no stranger to trying to lose weight prior to me having surgery so the the the, the documentary was called fat sick and nearly dead and it was about this guy who did a juice fast for 60 days, he didn't drink anything but juice. Juice, vegetables, and fruit. And so me and my cousin were like, you know what? We're gonna do that. So I juiced for, I didn't do 60 days, but I did 90 days and I lost like 30 pounds in that, in that 30 days that I did it. And I didn't do I didn't do 60 days, but I did 30 days, and in that 30 days, I thought I lost like 30, 35 pounds, and I was all hype, like yeah, went from 250 to like two, two, th 220, and I was all excited, and then I ended up getting into it with my roommate from Atlanta. That was a whole mess, and I moved home abruptly, and so I stopped doing the fast, and when I stopped doing the fast. Um, the first meal that I ate, I gained like five pounds back. Like legitimately, no exaggeration, I gained like five pounds back in a weekend. And I wasn't even eating crazy. I just think that it was the calories, it was too big, it was too drastic of a cut in calories. So even with me eating grilled chicken and mashed potatoes, my body was like, whoa, what are you doing? It just didn't have the time to get acclimated to the jumping calories. So then I ended up gaining all of that back. Now I'm back at square one, back at 250. Well, fast forward to 2013. I'm 23, turning 24, and I once again, I gotta lose this weight, gotta lose this weight. And so I went. I heard about this book called Shred. My cousin did it, the one who did the juice fast with me. Me and her was just always trying to lose weight together. It was always Weight Watchers, this, that, going to the gym together. We were just always like kind of our accountability partners where we would just try and lose weight together. So she heard about this book called Shred. Um, it's by Dr. Ian Smith. It's a six week program. And I was like, you know what? I need to lose this weight. So I did it, I got one shred, and that was probably the second most successful thing I did. Like, doing shred, I went from 250, 245 around there, and I got down to 219 within like a four month time span. And I was really working hard though. Like, I was in the gym six times a week, taking multiple classes, and I mean in the gym, three hours a day, six times a week. First thing Saturday morning, I'm hopping up and going to the gym. And I had lost a good amount of weight. 219 was the lowest that I had got on my own. And I was happy with that 219. But in true yo-yo weight loss fashion, the, it didn't last long. Like I lost all of that weight. And I think I got to 219 by like July. By November, and I'm gonna include a picture, Thanksgiving, I gained almost all of that weight back. Like I was back at like 240 again. And it showed like the the yo-yo back and forth, back and forth. Um, so 2014, once again, here we are. I need to lose this weight. So I get back on a weight loss program. I tried Weight Watchers again. They had changed the program. This is at the time where Jennifer Hudson was on a commercial screaming about the sun in the sky. And I just, 
it just was not working for me and so I went back to shred but eh, shred wasn't really doing it for me either so the majority of 2014 I stayed in my higher weight then I found out that I was going to be in a wedding that was going to be in um in February of 2015 so I was like oh lord like I brought a dress that was a size too small and I was like no I'm going to lose this weight so like I bust my behind until February 2015 like I really went in on losing weight I went in on making sure that I was gonna fit into that dress and I did get into the dress I did it was a little snug but I got into the dress and after that wedding was the most pivotal point in my life because after that wedding I lost it I like I had deprived myself so much to make sure that I fit into that dress that once I got into that dress and the wedding was over I crashed so hard and I gained so much weight and that's ultimately what made me decide to look into surgery because I just could not take the fact that I was gaining all of this weight again oh my goodness so yeah and then in 2015 May of 2015 was my first appointment I think that there's such a negative stigma associated with getting surgery even though it's becoming more popular now I feel like there's such a negative stigma because people are just like oh that's the easy way out da 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 People don't know that prior to me having surgery, I spent 10 years losing weight, gaining weight, losing weight, gaining weight, losing weight, gaining weight. And I was just like, you know what, at, at the time, I was 26 when I got surgery and I just was like, I'm not going to be 40 still struggling with my weight. Like, I refuse to still be 40 going back and forth and up and down with the weight loss and that's what made me go and look into getting surgery so yeah i mean i am well versed not just in things of surgery but talks of weight loss period exercising because i've done it all so i hope you guys enjoyed my background story and my before and after and i will talk to you guys on the next video. Peace.